type of vibe you don't know what you're missing. Hey, I've been tanga nabo steam. Missing the ice cream. I've been tanga nabo puti nabo steam. Missing the ice cream. I've been tanga nabo puti nabo steam. But it's hot to me, it's a cot to you, but it's hot to me, it's a cot to you, but it's hot to me, it's a cot to you. What's your good girl trying to say, Aka? Aka, Aka, Rules everything around me, now Saka. Use a down ass, me, me, lit at the upper. Boom, be twang, moon, some badoo. I'm in the mood for the cabinet, I begin the chibi duty, but too. The quelle colle patin, go from me, your papa, puff, the talk of my fatigue. Now me, it's about to be. Deep my bellas, my D stars to swell up and you start to develop my good low unusual. They don't need me, scout Ella. The feeling is mutual. Sato, cut, sato, tok, mella, mella, mella. Hey, oh, me, see, get the umbrella. Hey, since you met me, life's been better. Hey, I want to get a double put in a book scheme. I want to get a double put in a book scheme. And let me tell you something from now on, it's only strawberry flavored ice cream, and you know why. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Trending SA! Oh, oh, oh! The last time I danced to that song, you were heavily pregnant. I know, can you believe it? Oh, do you remember Nins? I, you know, I don't remember anything. I don't you remember the songs. Here. I was, but I don't remember anything. Yeah, I don't remember anything. Okay, we'll do a throwback of that with young Giffy, you know? Yes. 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 Oh, yes. no, I wasn't here that day. Yes, I you I didn't were. think you were. You were. So this is really fun for us, <laughs> but I'm not sure how good this is for you. So I'm just going to carry on and tell you that this is our home. It's ABC3 and online wherever you're watching throughout the globe. We're on TrendingSA.TV. Now, we have a fabulous show in store for you, designed with the sole purpose of keeping you warm. Let me tell you something. When you're shivering, you're doing this. <laughs> but when you're laughing, you're doing this. <laughs> <laughs> which expands your movement, which keeps you warm. It's science, right, doctor? That looks like a convulsion. We need to go get that. <laughs> which is similar to laughing. <laughs> oh. On my left, we have my sister from another mother who comes from another continent as well. <clears throat> it's Nina Hasty. <laughs> Hello. Oh, 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 Hi. Oh. Look, we're twinning. Twining. Twining. Oh, you can't tell us apart. Which one's Nina? Which one? Which I don't one? Know. Uh, can Which you one? stop hanging out Nina with my ex boyfriends, one... Nina? Oh, no. Oh, shucks. Sorry. It's funny. Yeah, it's... he's my bestie now. Sorry, I stole him from you. No, that was years ago. Hi, Polly. Oh, that's my Polly friend who used to be Coolie's Polly friend. <laughs> um, yeah, listen, tonight I will be warming up your souls with some good laughter from the regular low feature. Also, I had dumplings for supper. Yum. Batu. Mangan is star. Mangan is soft win. And on my other side. <laughs> My other sister from another mother who lives just <coughs> down the road and every now and then when I feel like when I go and I and <laughs> at her house. This is Miss Scully Roberts! Oh dee Lily, oh Mololos. What was happening here? That was my one of my son's dinners. Um that's my little sister Ritabi Lemboy. Oh, wow. yeah. oh, yes, that's the lawyer. She looks like your other sister. Ushubi. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Chocolate, baby. Dark chocolate. You all look like sisters. Hello. Funny hello. that. Another dark skinned hot chocolate one is visiting us today. Ooh. She's our worth a follow. Today, I will be bringing you our worth a follow guest. Her name is Ma Vista. This young lady is blazing up the internet with her funny videos. You don't want to miss her. She is a shaggies when I'm all alone. We are shaggies. We are two as well. We are Tosa, we are Legisa, we are Slayer. Hey, stick around for that. It's going to be happening. It's going to be going down. All right, next to her. How should we? He is our my brother. My boyfriend. From another mother who Nina insists would be the best in Kenyana. This is Dr. Musa Licious Ndombeni. That's it. Oh, wow. Yay. This was Monday. I was so jealous. What a fresh smell like in real life. But you know, we're on the boat together. On the oh, cruise. yeah. Okay, I apologize. Yeah, right. Oh, he was on the cruise. 
cruise. Yeah, I was on the cruise with us. Uh, this was me yesterday morning. I uh, had an interview or like a chat on Metro with Fresh Angie and Mfo. You know they and phoned me on Sunday night I know, desperately looking I know, for your number. I know. Because mm. it's hot. But yeah, I went and we had like one of my favorite interviews of existence. So it's actually quite nice. What made it lovely? It was just so, it was so about nice. nice. And laugh a minute and it was really great. But it may also be the space that you're in in your life. Things change and sure. ebb and flow and move. Congratulations, by the way. Because Bobby had to Bobby that Congratulations, up. Congratulations, anyway, by the way. Thank you, Sudipan. Yeah. All right, this is what I'm talking about today. Looking at Come Fight Me. That was the hashtag on the feed, so I'll be unpacking that a little bit later on. Congratulations you, on what you're pregnant. Are you pregnant? Again. Shh, 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 shh. Oh. Hello, everybody. My name is Bobby Muloy. I am your madam speaker. Yay! Yay. <laughs> Ooh. Wow. 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 <laughs> Octavius? Listen. Yeah. Where was this place? Where was this? I want to hear these answers. This is the bathroom. This, so this is my bathroom. This is my downstairs bathroom. Mm, it's so small, babe. Yeah, it's quite uh, cramped. <laughs> And so, you know, these are my pajamas, and I was about to go to bed. Wow. A big, yes. a big shout out um, to Rubicon, who put me in this outfit. I actually emceed the Mrs. South Africa uh, semifinals. Nice. Yeah. So Rubicon put me in beautiful dresses. So thank you very much. Now, speaking of beauty, speaking of success, Woo-hoo. speaking of all things, we have the phenomenal Rosie Mutini, who will be here today. I, 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 I. Yeah. Rosie, 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 Rosie. I love that name. It's and Maria, name. those are my two favorite girls' names. Now, uh, we'll be also talking about autocorrect and typos. And now listen, yesterday mm. we mentioned this thing about WTF Yay. turning one. Yay. Um, so we asked you to vote in our poll to see if you would like to see the WTF presenters on our show, invading our studio. And but the in. results are in. Drum roll, please. Musa said I mustn't hit the table. Nina, no. play with your nails. Oh, play no. with my nails. No. <laughs> no. It is. A resounding yes. 80% of you said yes. We can. Yay. <laughs> Obviously, this is the 20%. <laughs> <laughs> but they're going to so, pay. Yeah, hey, that, that, that guy didn't even vote. He was just here for the free. <laughs> it's a, the thing is, he lost his ID on registration day. Um, <laughs> What? That sounds like a story you've told me before, Nona. <laughs> uh, so we're going to take a quick break and then we'll be right back on Trending Essay on SABC3. You can get hold of us, as always, with the hashtag Ta on 3. And now we dance, babies. <laughs> Problem in. Sorry, I'm going in. Polos, I'm to extend one rata. Kaukata. Hagi eta so out. Hasegiri shapa. Libanyana. Bam fintako. Hey! Mina o java na kala ningala nazenga bangala pega manje sengala. Mina o java na kala ningala nazenga bangala pega manje sengala. Diplome ni zi palabat. Pavati wi karaka. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Madagas. Who make girl he kept to Cairo, but it's to Dubai. Yike, he gets a Jatara Kalibu Rubai. He convoy, I'm a bus driving to July. I would do Dubai, hundreds, and it is a mite. Your figang bumping bars, Alice has popping bars. I mean, it's popping flace, it dropping lost. It's a change down, no touch, Kalikia bars. Who gets in your job and I would do Jake Gas. Staggy West, Staggy West, Sinza. Gonna was a busy pass. Probably way Mali Nen gets gets out. Yeah, you learn to trust. I'm just singing on the pants. Now I was just in order to leave. I dig it. The city belongs to us. What's that bone ass? Catch time for life. I'm so proud before BET mm -hmm. put their eyes on you, before anyone loved you, we had you here on Trending SA. So congrats to you and welcome back to the break. Uh, from the break, welcome back to the show. This is Trending SA on SABC3 and online we are trendingsa.tv. Let's go online and check out a post from Facebook. Nina, would you do the honors, my lovey? No problem, puppy. <laughs> <laughs> August Mbuso says, is today my lucky day? Wait, I don't know how you speak. Is today my lucky day? Will my post be read live on air? By Nina Imitating yeah. from Dallas Wait. Is today my lucky day? <laughs> Will my post be read live on air? By Nina Imitating Pabalo's voice. <laughs> Find out next episode of Dragon Ball Z. Well done. Nice. Did, you say, did you say, um, will, be, will my post be read on air? I said air? Oh, not in your voice. An air. Thank you. Uh -huh. That's much better. Um, <laughs> put it right there. Put it. Yeah, <laughs> 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 All right, so if you'd like to send us post comments, all the works that you can send them through with the hashtag on 3 Now, you know, we uh, explore the light and the shade of what's happening on social media mm. because that's the way the world is. So the first mention isn't for sensitive viewers, mm. although I do think that, um, you know, it being the reality for many South African children, it's something that we need to keep talking about. So you may have come across this hashtag, a harrowing story, um, that was in the news today, hashtag House of Horrors. Mm. Now, it involves a man who has been accused of sexually assaulting his 10-year-old stepdaughter mm. um, <sighs> for allegedly five <sighs> years. Now, this man was in court today in his bail application, and the 43-year-old accused man has denied all charges against him, stating that the entire case is indeed a fabrication. Mm -hmm. Through his lawyer, he said that he had a witness who could prove that the charges were false. The young girl is under state protection and in our prayers and thoughts. Mm. Now, if you need somebody to talk to, if you think you might need to intercept such a situation, then talk to Childline. You can phone them on 08000 555. That's 08000 555. We'll keep tabs on the story as it develops. Musa, what do you have for us? Well, I'll be looking at the hashtag that is come fight me. That's what popped up on my feed with Treeps posting bold statements and, of course, declarations about things they felt passionate about or show that you cannot fight them <laughs> on. So let's take a look at some of the passionate things that you guys felt passionate about today with more passion and passionate <laughs> stuff. Uh. All right, this one here coming through from N. Pokombe, who said, this is not an Alsatian. Nope. This is... It's a police dog. Correct. Correct. Come fight me. Yes? No? It, no? Correct. Yes. Wait. Please, please address me as yes, that's teacher. That's an Alsatian. Hello? Yes, yeah. teacher. No, no, no. It's a yes, police teacher. dog. Oh, and sorry. also, oh, wait, actually, no, I agree. Thank you. Right. Next one, of course, was one that came through from KK. And this one said, come fight me. Some people thought black Twitter was an app. Yes, no? Yes. Okay, no, I'm not. Yes, no. man. But yes, sir. Sorry, sir. Yes, it's teacher. Yes, teacher, daddy, sir. But are you, yeah, is he daddy? Is he doctor? Is he the teacher? Like, Zonke I mean, bonke. 
Okay. Good. All right. Another one, of course, that had to jump in on this one is one from XX Kanye. They say people who type lol instead of lol. <laughs> so we instead of sorry and a breather word are roarish. Correct. And that is hashtag come fight me. Bobby is correct? No, correct calm Bobby. down, daddy. Teacher, sir, your highness. <laughs> and then let's Sa. check out the last one. Uh, this one coming through. That's beautiful. <laughs> Some yellow bones. Mabustwa ke kala. Sar on three. <laughs> Hashtag come fight me. Wah, 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 no, it's my song. Let's not be colorist, whether we are dark or, or yellow boned. It's my song. Also, let's stop all of that. Let's yeah. just be, we are African. Yeah, Can we it. all just be that meme, please? Hang on. What is what is that? What does that express? I don't know, but it's But your so mouth cute. is closed. Oh, is, oh, you're doing a thing. I commit. When I do a thing, I commit. I'm I'm literally wearing its hair. Oh, okay, can you commit? Wow, that got dark very quickly. Anyway, <laughs> another one from KK Matekani here that said the following: Come fight me. Those who add sugar when they eat cornflakes are mentally disturbed. Okay. No. Um, now I thought to myself, how dare you? Who are you? Who do you think? How else? You are. Because. Uh, uh, oh, it's okay, it's okay. Come on, speak your mind, man. Speak I, I, it. I just, I just feel that as, yes. as a people, yes. we, need to not, we need to stop attacking each other. Yes. We're, I'm so angry. You angry? Ah, ah, no, do you want to do ah, that? Ah, I'm angry. I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what, ah. friend. Oh. Um, if you, I've got some things for Psycho. you, some little, some little things to help you. No, I completely agree with you. And I'm like, we've got to put sugar in the cornflakes. You must yeah, put yeah. the sugar in there because it just makes the day better. Imagine just EBC, just just milk. But it's also and cornflakes. great no. with sugar. I can't do this. So just I, fight me! I can't fight me. do this. I, fight me! <laughs> Don't fight me so hard! Super fight fighter. Me. Fight me. Fight I still me. want those <laughs> afterwards. <laughs> 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 That feels a lot better. Oh, yeah. thank goodness. Thank you so much, Nina. No problem. I I'm here anytime so much. you need an emotional <sighs> punching bag. No, no, no. Don't say that. <laughs> All right. That's what you guys had to say about hashtag come fight me. And of course, there are more tweets that jump into this one. And this is what this one looks like. This one says, come fight me if you say Oksalai in an argument. You've lost. Okay. Yes, I, I yes. say it. You've already lost. I, I, I do agree with this one. Okay. Except you must spell it right on your tweet because I once tried to use it to end an argument and then I said Oksalai instead of Oksalai I said Oksayalo. Shalalaz. And then obviously I lost the argument because I was like Oksalayo umubi and then everyone was like Shame, babe. It's and okay. then nobody, nobody stood up for me. And back, there was Helena, no zero exactly autocorrect. Musa never touched the hair. Oh, so, okay. That's let my me own. Just, let fine. me just go take my seat then, clearly, because this is what needs to happen. Oh. Wow. A lot of things just happened <laughs> on this television show. Oksa Yalo, uh, we are going to carry on. Okay. Oksa Lai, autocorrect and typos. How, how do you feel when I say Autocorrect. Oh, it's the guy. Mm, mm. Typos. <laughs> Intimidated. I, it's not cute, especially when you're trying to be smart, when you're trying to really address the point in a matter of speaking. And then, bam, spelled B A M B. Autocorrect gets you. And if you have a phone and you have sent a text message in your life, I'm going to dare, spelled D E A R, mm -hmm. to say that the trauma. Spelled T R O O M A H of autocorrect is something you know too well. Mm. At Jovijo and at Grant Myberg to express just how they feel, spelled F I L L, about the issue at hand using hashtag autocorrect and typos. Uh, the first says, we all suffer autocorrect and typos here, so don't act like your fingers are holy. You know, mm. holy fingers. Mm. Grant says autocorrect and typos will put your IQ on the line. Is it your IQ or is it your QI? We'll never know because of autocorrect and <laughs> that, typos. Oh, that's funny. Mm. That, that's a joke. Now, autocorrect and typos are meant, well, autocorrect itself is meant to make our lives easier. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That was a typo live on television. I <laughs> but I think the following tweets will agree with me when I say it has not made our lives mm -mm. easier. Let's check out their autocorrect and typo oopsies. Toopsies. This is Dr. Farai 
excellent handle. Autocorrect and typos will make you sweat this way when you text her, hey, are you coming? And it says, ho, <laughs> are you coming? <laughs> Ow. Oh, so it was a typo. That's what happened in my life. <laughs> <laughs> Musa underscore L underscore Gamma says, Autocorrect and typos, Bay and I texting me, stand or Sammy. Autocorrect, standard same. Sitle <laughs> <laughs> says, autocorrect and typos, me to my crush, I dreamt about us kissing. Autocorrect, I dreamt about us kidding. Well, what is that about? <laughs> And this is Shining Star saying, hey, sometimes when I want to say hi, I'm not lady. It says, hi, I'm naked. <laughs> Guys, I know we all want attention. Shame, I feel for you. But before you press send, double check, check, triple check if you have to. Because you don't want to end up posting what was qualified posted last year, December. What? Oh, Molono. When I grow up, I'd like to be a slut. S-L-U-T, Mololos. And then I, t <laughs> I thought I said I want to slay. Oh, Mololos. Granted, she could have been seeking attention because that's what people do on social media. Did she use her hands to tweet? <laughs> but also, isn't she a grown-up? Yeah. Uh, also, oh. <laughs> also, the sentence doesn't make sense if you start saying slay, if that's the word you're going for. When I grow up, I want to be a slay. I want to be no, a slay. No, no. no she was, maybe she meant she wants to be on a Santa's reindeer. On, uh, oh, North Pole. slay. North Pole. She wants... Well, I mean, that means someone's going to ride the sleigh. Maybe, ooh, maybe she's deeper than what we thought. I think she's deeper than what we thought. <laughs> maybe she just wanted to trend, guys. <laughs> um, did you guys see what uh, the Miss South Africa uh, Twitter account did to Demi Lee? Mm. What happened, yeah, It was so awkward. Okay, so they tagged Demi Lee um, in, the, in the post, but then they... Just look at the tweet and I'll explain it. All right. Which one is Demi Lee, the corpse? The one in the middle. Um, and then we're pretty certain that Demi Lee Nell Peters is going to blow everyone at Glamour <laughs> SA tonight. You should see this dress, Monica. Tonight? Is it, is it, is it happening tonight? Hey? Is this thing happening tonight? Blow, She's going to blow everyone. Tonight? Tonight! Okay, guys. Do you have examples of autocorrect and typos that you've experienced? <sighs> Um, yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, um, hmm. Quick sticks. I was, I was, hmm. Ah. I, uh, hmm. uh. <laughs> I think I understand. Thank you. That's and you, Sis Gulli? <laughs> yeah. Yours? Nina? So uh, the other day I was trying to send this joke message to one of my friends. And I had screen grabbed some pictures of this guy from Tinder. Eh? And I accidentally sent it to the residence group on WhatsApp. Ow. And uh, so all the aunties in my building. Do they think that you are a sleigh? They think I'm a sleigh. <laughs> that is Rudolph. hilarious. Um, okay, so I am in a WhatsApp group with all of the hosts and producers oh, and the shit. GM and everyone of our radio station. Yes. And they were sending a shout out to one of the presenters. Now, these are like amazing people who've released books, who are like respected. And they were saying, oh, yeah, kudos to you. We're cheering you on. How do you spell here, here? H E A R E. You spelled it incorrectly. I spelled it H E R E H. Like Mona, Mona, not oh. Go Go. <laughs> Mortified. What was their response though? They just blue ticked me. Yeah. Yeah, I can imagine. Sounds so right. I think they actually started another group yeah. to laugh at how <laughs> dope I was. Yeah. Anyway, you know the you... name of that group was Here Here. Ah! <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you think they like screen grabbed your conversation and then like posted it on their WhatsApp group for the residents association? For the resi in, in my residents association that's group. Exactly that's, that's exactly what they did. That's exactly We're going to take a very quick like. break. This is trending essay. Here, here. There, there. The on the WhatsApp group. <laughs>
Hello, everybody, and welcome back. Let's check out what social media has been singing. Uh, this is the exotic Tapelo uh, at Trending SMP <laughs> when I'm watching Trending SMP. I lose control, yes! Dun, 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 and dun. that is Messi your friends, the goats. Yeah. the goats. Messi and Ronaldo. Oh, oh that's baby, so nice. Baby. Dear Trending SA, says Takadina One, I demand to be on your next show. Take it or leave it. Ooh, okay. okay. Sure, so strict. Threatening us. Yeah, come fight me. <laughs> all right, so thank you for all of your posts. Please be on our next show. Please, we need you to be on our next show on that side of the television watching us. Thank you very much. It is now time. <laughs> wow, you're so cold. A follow. Are ah, you? Yeah. Sorry, I had to. Ooh, my poor guest. Tonight's worth a follow is a young lady whose name is Nosipo Majola, but you may all know her as Ma Vista Majola. She's a multi-talented Durban-based comedy skit actor, vlogger, as well as MC, who's best known for viral social media videos. Please put your hands together and help me welcome Ma Vista Majola. Follow us. I love you, I love you. You must come to me, please, please. Thank you, sweetie pie. Is this the comedian's hairdo? Yes. Yeah. 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 Got this, got this, got this, got this. I, 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 I. Hello, my child. I love you. I love you. We were separated at birth. Okay, my darling, sit quickly. I don't have any time okay. to talk to you. Okay. <laughs> Hello darling, welcome, welcome, welcome sweetie Hi. pie. You have been in the spotlight for a year now and your videos have gone viral. Mrs. Oh. Yes. Hey, I think it's a Hey, I says it's shy. Got to a teen, oh baby girl. In time, this says this manage. Oh, 
ว้าวว้าวแล้วแล้วแล้วคุณพี่อัพเพลย์ is absolutely incredible tell me did you expect your your language videos to go viral no 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 after all that effort and work um well in the beginning In the beginning, no, not at all. And then eventually, you know, I was sort of like, sort of like expecting it, you know. But then when it came to that video, like that one, I was not ready. That one was fantastic. But you yeah, wasn't I was ready. ready. You're pulling a face when when you're watching the video of yourself. You're going, <gasps> <gasps> no. it's like you're shook at your own actions. No, I'll be honest. Like like the moment. When I'm in the zone, I'm in the zone. Sasha you says. But now the thing is, when people like see me like face to face, they expect me maybe to be like climbing trees or something. Yeah, you know? yeah. And then when they see me, then they're like, "Oh wow, you're actually quite normal." Yeah. I'm like, "Yeah, yeah I am quite that's normal." That's work, and this is you. Work. You yes, know what I mean? Yes, it is work. Yeah. And now talking about work, how do you curate your work? I mean, do you go to taxi ranks and like loiter around, or like do you go to Google <laughs> National Park and listen to the animal voice sounds? How does it work? Not, not at all. Well, okay. Okay. What happens is I just I sleep and I wake up mm. and then it just I just decide. I'm just like okay. So today um, on a post about anything like you can say something. Something like, like you can say anything and, anything. Then, and then I'll take that <laughs> yellow duck, you know. <laughs> and then <laughs> like for instance, wait, wait with this um, pregnancy test one. Like this one. Yes. Yeah. Yes. I'll tell you what happened. Um, someone was just like, um, oh my word, uh, uh, oh my word. Um, I'm happy that. Um, I'm not. Oh, sh- oh, wait. They said that a lot of people are actually falling pregnant nowadays. Mm. And then I was just like, hmm. And then I just took a screenshot of that. That is the only thing they said. Nice. And then I just played with it. Mm. You know, I was just like, okay, I'll do a video one day about this. Whatever. I don't know what I'm going to say. Whatever. And then I just start press record everything. And then I just start. Wow. You know. I a lot of power love in you, my child. Yeah, you're so you good. My child. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> Listen. Um, Men never get asked this question. Yeah. Okay. Oh, how do you feel about being so bold and how people respond <laughs> to you That's when silly. you're so loud and bold and um, how that make you feel? But now that's the thing. I don't suffer from abandubazoti syndrome. Mm, good. I don't. Good. It's, it's, it's not about you. Mm. It's not you know, about you. Exactly. You, you made me. You made me along the way. Yes. You know, I, I didn't know I was going to meet you. Mm. And the thing is, I'm, I'm passing by. It's not about you. It's, it's a oh hi, hey, okay, you don't like me. Shop. Life goes on. I love mm. you. You know, because not because. Like even you, you know, family-wise, yeah. they're just like, "What is she doing?" Yes. Mm. You know, and then now, like for like, like now I'm here. They're gonna be like, "Lol," mm. you know, <laughs> I saw you, yeah, lol. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you yeah, know, yeah, yeah. and that's the thing. I mean, people only care once you like out there. They don't really care once you still move. first online commercial. Was me. It was not some other celebrity. It was not you, baby. Not you. Not you. Not you, boo boo. It was me. <laughs> you know, and they were just like. Let us find. <laughs> let us look for a girl, and then they found Mavista. There we go. Woo! Yes. Oh, me and, and so, also Joe. And so yeah, I mean, um, I just did that like a month ago, mm. and then yeah, I am now. Yeah. Yes, baby. You know, I mean, look at God. Look so at God. God. Mm. Right. So tell me, you're getting a lot of offers, not DMs, like offers to do work, right? <laughs> yeah. But, I'm sure but you're rejecting some of these offers. Tell me more about this. What's going on? You have lots of money. It's too much now. It's how too do, much. How do you know that? I know a lot of things. Don't we worry. We know things. <laughs> <laughs> well, the thing is, um, for other, um, like for instance, when it comes to acting, mm. some of them say, "Listen, we want you, but then we want you to remove everything that you have." Wow. Like, 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 like the your the, essence. Yes, because it won't fit the character or it won't <laughs> fit whatever. Mm. That's know? interesting. And then I'm just like, but it's, it's not going to make sense because. Like this is who who like like social media. Okay, wait. This this is me, mm. you know. And now suddenly now I'm deleting everything in the name of a character, oh, you know. Okay, so and then what okay. if I die in between? Like you know, then what? <laughs> you know, what if this character here? Yeah, um, one, two, three, four, ton ton scenes. Next thing, I'm dead. And then what? You're really amazing. You're so funny. So everybody has to follow you, my vista underscore majola. I'm right. Yeah. yeah. Okay, yep. and then you and Nina have to tell us where you got your hair done. Obviously, there's obviously we'll a com- like this. there's a comedian's discount somewhere out here. <laughs> um, nice to see you. Thank you for being Thank here. Thank you for having me, guys. We'll be back after this. This is a trending essay on SABC3.
Back. This is Trading Essay on SABC3 and on TradingEssay.tv. Thank you so much for all of your love on social media. We love receiving it from you. Now, tonight's guest is a trailblazer, a household name in South African television, landing roles in local shows like Generations and Zabalaza, and in the internationally acclaimed film Hotel Rwanda. Undoubtedly, one of the most awe-inspiring people you could ever meet in her latest book, Reclaiming the Soil. She shares her journey of rediscovering and details her struggle of finding her true African self. She has described herself as born of the Bafuking nation, but raised in a Jewish household. Very few people know the depth of her story, so she's here to share some of it with us. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Ms. Rosie Mudene. I, 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 Welcome to our show. Thank you. It's so good to have you here. There's so much that I want to ask you all at the same time, but maybe let's start in television, right? Yes. So can we throw back mm -hmm. to the Generations days? So oh, this yeah, is when right. everyone got to know you. You became this household name. <laughs> when I had like a 32-inch waist. Oh, back, oh. Back then. Okay, so okay. apart from that, some of the other <laughs> highlights or memories that stand out for you from that time? You know, um, Generations, I don't think people really understood what Mfundi did when he put Generations on. Yeah. yeah. Um, sorry to use the analogy, but it was what um, the Cosby's did, Cosby show did for black people right. in the 70s, what Generations mm. did for us. 100%. Mm. For the first time, you saw black people on screen who were powerful. Mm. Um, they were amazing. They were running their own businesses. They weren't thugs. They didn't fall into those stereotypes. Mm. And it was... It was, a, it, was, it was a crazy ride. Lovely. Yeah. And then you left. Mm. At the peak of, I mean, what everyone would think is the height of your fame, maybe yeah. your success in television. Mm. What, what led to that decision? You know, when you get into something, whatever you're going to do in life, there comes to a point where you think, okay, my, my time here is up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that had wow. happened with Generations. Because when I went in, I went in only two years. That was my, my, my wow. game plan. Okay. So it lasted another four and a half. No, it was four and a half years. Okay. And mm. it was after I'd given my first talk at Johannesburg prison and um, I'd, I'd been working for power and it was the first time I was giving a talk. And this I'm is giving, people opposing women yeah, abuse. Yes. And I gave a talk to 1,500 sexual offenders and originally when I went and I thought there's going to be a cage, I'm going to be protected and literally the dudes were there and I was here and I was like, okay Rosie, now this is the time where you're either going to sink or swim. And literally I had them on their haunches listening to me and on my drive home, I was driving back to the studio I'm thinking, this is what I need to be also doing. Wow. And for the first time in my life, I felt as if I was going to work. And so I called my agent. I was like, mm, we need to make a change. <laughs> And what was your agent's response? Um, she was she was ecstatic okay. because she didn't. Okay. I mean, she was like, you know what, your time is up on generations. We can do other stuff. Um, what do you want to do? Do you want to give a bit of time to think about it? I was like, no, I'm going to put in my notice. And I went back. It was time before iPads, all yes, of that. Yes. I had to get down to the computer, log on, typed up my thing, um, get and, the and so you're saying that your your like purpose shifted yeah. and you wanted to go into the more philanthropic well, advocacy. The, the activism, but the also act, yeah. because I was driving to SABC studios from Sun City Prison, yes. the first time I felt as if I was going to work. And then you must wow. drop And up, in, up until then, it, was, it never ever felt like work. So I was like, okay. Versatile, versatile, versatile. Your yes. new book, When a Momo Reclaiming the Soul, A Black Girl's Struggle to Find Her African Self mm. by Rosie Mutene. Mm. What other book is about your relationship with your parents, mm. having been raised um, by uh, your mother's white employer? And at, at what point do you feel that you have to reclaim or find your African self? You know, the journey started over 10 years ago. Mm. Uh, it was at a point where I was very, very confused. I was going through a stage of betrayal from my foster parents. And I started to, 
heavy, a lot of therapy, and I, and, I, and, I, and I advocate for therapy. And my therapist was like, just put everything down on paper, just, mm. you know. And mm. as I was doing that and going through these sessions, I realized that there was so much in my life, in my past, that I hadn't dealt with. Oh mm. from, from, from when I was a baby, growing up, everything. And so I just started writing, and then at one point I was like, no, I need to, I need to put this into a book form and start telling my story. And then I, 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 I retracted, then I went back. Um, and then finally got to the point where, okay, I was like, okay, now it's time. To, and the book was finished about two and a half years ago, but I procrastinated. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, and then unfortunately, you know, my father, my biological father passed away. And mm -hmm. in, the, in the, the last four years of his life, that's when I actually made the decision to move home. Mm -hmm. So I woke up one day and was going through a bit of turmoil in my life and I was on the highway and I got a pain on my left side and I pulled over and something said, go home. And I called mama, I said, I need to come home. And she was like, of course, come home. And I saw the sign extra space. I don't know where it came from, this number. Called them, I said, I need to put my, my stuff into storage. Packed up, crying all the time, thinking, oh what the hell am I doing? Um, and for those who don't know, I didn't live in Pogeng. Yes, I'd been there, but I'd, I'd spent so much time away. So I didn't know the language, the culture, the tradition. Never lived under my parents' roof. I was 38 years old, had my little Renault, packed what I had up, the rest into storage, and I drove home. And growing up, Pogeng was always my place of threat. So my foster family would say, you know, you've done something bad, you're going to, we're going to send oh, you no. to Pogeng. Oh, wow. And then driving home, was the first time that I thought there was a sense of ease and the sense of peace. Oh and I cried and cried. Mm. And it was supposed to be like a two to three month phase because that's the, in fact, it was three months because that's, that's the amount of storage I took out. And 18 months later, I was still there, realizing that I needed to discover a lot about myself, mm. but also about my father and, and, the, and the fact that I had resented him for so long because I compared him to my foster father. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And getting to know him, which for me was the most phenomenal experience because when, when we did say goodbye to him, um, and that, 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 that in itself was a traumatic event because he was in ICU and taken out and, and he passed away at a government hospital. Mm -hmm. but. When I buried him, I understood the phenomenal man that he was. Mm -hmm. And I understood what it meant to be a Mutene mm -hmm. and who, where I come from, that I'm from Pogeng. Mm -hmm. And Pogeng actually means, a poor means Jew in Tswana. And, and, and when, when they discovered the, the, the area, there's a lot of Jew in the morning. So that's, that's, where, that's where the name Pogeng came from. So all this richness and culture mm -hmm. that I suddenly was like, wait a minute, I was wow. like ashamed of growing wow. up. Mm -hmm. You know, I didn't want to be that person. You know, from the little girl that you see in this picture. Yeah, with the collar popped. Do you know what I'm saying? That used to go to bed and, 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 and say, God, just please let me wake up with blonde hair so mm -hmm. I can make my hair into a bubble. You know, um, that dismissed her own mother. You know, re refused to speak her language. Hated being black. I mean, the conflict, sure. the conflict of... Look, I, I don't know the, the dynamics. I haven't read your book yet. I can't mm -hmm. wait to read your book. Um, the, the conflict of knowing that someone is taking care of you and wanting to love your family, mm. um, but the confusion of the abandonment because there's, there's abandonment on both sides because you feel you're abandoning whoever mm, yeah. Um, yeah. you're not loving. Um, I mean, do you want to unpack that a bit for me? Mm. I, I see it, and, and, I, and I, I, I think a lot of people have experienced yeah. this. Yeah. Um, talk, talk about abandonment mm. in the space. For you. you know, it's, 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 it's abandonment, but it's also conditional versus unconditional right. love. Right. Mm, mm. oh, and, and that is incredibly, when, when I unpack that in therapy, and realizing that I had this family that, whenever I talk about it, I want to choke up, mm. but that were there. And I was a brat. And not once did my sister ever criticize what I, what I was going through. Not once did her children ever turn around and say, you're a terrible aunt. Mm. But they're there. Oh. <laughs> And then the, the family that I always put, and, and, and I made a quote in the quote in the book, mm. I said, you know, the family that I always put on the black burner, I mean back burner, were mm. always there. Mm. And that realization and that power that you, that you reclaim, hence mm. the name, it's reclaiming that, mm. is 
is totally it's totally underestimated and it's and 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 I think it's something that's very very important when people do decide to foster families or decide to to adopt families you know and I was speaking to another girl today who actually grew up down the road from me but she was 10 years younger so she had the exact same life except her parents her mother had passed away and her grandmother passed away so it was just her in this white Jewish home um, but the difference that she had was that she didn't have to deal, deal with the apartheid, but also, yes, she had the, the division of being this black kid in a white home, but never one-sided in terms of calling, I mean, I called my, my foster mom, Mommy, and I called my, my, my biological mom, Bumbo, which was a nickname that were given by the foster parents because she was fat, so it was Fatty Bumbo. Oh my hmm. gosh. So, Rosie. and only using calling her mama when I had the strength when we went home. Oh. But Rosie, the, the conflict is in the fact that you're aware that these people are doing something good for you. Mm. And there's this gratitude and appreciation. Mm. And um, does that gratitude and appreciation extend to now? It does. And, and that was where the, a lot of the conflict came in. Yes. Because, because the, the feud that happened in the home, and, I can, and, it's, and it's in the book, was that the one son came home with, 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 with a non-white woman. And there was, the family were up against that. And I'm like, but wow. how? And so I, that for me was confusion and that for me was betrayal. Mm. And me saying, but listen to me, no, 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 you're different. Ooh. And then I'm like, but you know, I like, I'm a motivational speaker. People speak there, but in my home, nobody's hearing me. Oh you don't gosh. hear me. And so dealing with that in itself and then getting through the rest of it and then forgiving yourself. Yeah. Mm. And, I, and to be honest, I only started forgiving myself the last maybe three years ago when, when my doctor was said to me, okay, so we've reached this, great, but what about you? And I'm like, no, fine, no, no, Rosie, um, this isn't set. Let's, mm. so have you yeah, looked at Rosie in the that. mirror and, and yeah. what we are, you know? So it's, it's those different levels of, of unpacking and dealing with, and there's still so much that I still need to deal with, but where I've come from and where I've taken that step forward mm. and taken it back, mm. You know, and, and my book has changed over the years. And I remember interviewing Zolega Mandela after yeah. her book. Ooh, yeah. Yeah. And I said to her, I was like, you know, you come from such a prominent family, yet you were so brutally honest. Yeah, she was. Mm. And she said to me, she goes, Rosie, if you're not going to tell your full story, don't tell it at all. Mm. And that's where I took a step back. And then I was like, okay. So I went back to the drawing board. And I mean, I brought up issues of my abortion because I realized that I'd buried that for such a long time and I needed to deal with that. Yeah. Mm. I brought up the issues of abuse. I brought up the, 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 the different areas where I was horrible to my biological mother, but yeah. brutally horrible. Mm. You know? Rosie, I can, I can <sighs> tell that there's so much more that we want to ask you and that can be said. Mm -hmm. So will you stay until the end of the show? Of course. Okay, brilliant. Course. We've got Rosie Mateni in studio, Reclaiming the Soil. That's the name of the book. We'll be right back. This is Training Essay on 3. You okay? Yeah. You know what? what? Rather me be yours, shade of view, you can recognize the flaws. So fade with you, you in lace and drawers, fade the view, you know you bought your boy for I know you don't set, you know you don't collect. I know you're not like the other girls I met, other girls are next, other girls are ex. You made me lose count of the other girls I left. Messy, the pee looks heavy on you. Hair to the nails to the shoes, messy. Nato C don't rig me roll. I send a text to your phone when I'm ready to blow. Oh, like to life, give me like time. Chevy, Chevy, we on fire.
extinguish me, yes, paint the fire, extinguish me. One light, two light, three light, give me light top. Chevy, Chevy, we on fire. Give me big deal, give me big deal, give me big deal, give me big deal, give me one light, light to light, give me light top. Chevy, Chevy, we on fire. You know, I feel like we should have a, a an after the show special, yeah. right? Yeah. <laughs> That's only exclusive online. TrendingSA.tv is where you can catch us, and uh, we're here on SABC3. Um, we're still here with our guest for tonight, Rosie Mudene, and a, a black girl struggle to find her African self. So you spoke, Rosie, about finding yourself in the midst of the family mm. dichotomy and dilemma, but then you also speak about um, your... It's as if one person can't go through all of these things, you know, and yet here you are. Yeah. Uh, recently, you spoke out in a radio interview about mm. the hashtag Me Too kind of situation that's akin to what's happening in the States about something that happened to you mm. in, in the entertainment industry. Yeah. So you've told the story and mm. everyone knows that people keep quiet. Mm. People don't want to talk yeah. out. What is in place to protect those mm. who do speak out? You know, at the moment, there are very few spaces, and that's why I've been so vigilant and so loudmouthed for the last 15 years in okay. terms of activism, um, because we need to create those safe spaces, and so we're doing that. Mm -hmm. And and now with me, with, with the hashtag, and the hashtag for South Africa is that's not okay, which, yes. which, was, which was, comes about from Swift, which is sisters working in film and television. Mm. Uh, it was also very important for me to put my name to that, to explain to a lot of these girls that look, it, it isn't just you who's trying to get in the industry. Um, when somebody, when somebody's involved, um, it gets in, into a situation that is either sexual harassment, where it's abuse or where it's rape. It's not necessarily about you, it's about power. Mm. And it's about power of the perpetrator. And we need to understand those dynamics. Number two, we need to understand the dynamics that we need to stop blaming the, the survivor, the yeah. person who mm -hmm. speaks out, which is very, very important. And I found that I, f I felt that it was very, very important to talk about it because another incident that had happened a couple of years ago in another set um, where I wasn't, I, I wasn't sexually harassed, but I was put into a corner where the producers were trying to make me take my clothing and do certain oh. sex scenes and so forth. And, you know, all of these things were in my contract, which I said I didn't want to. And then there was the, 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 the meetings that we had. Okay, yes. we're not going to do it. And then they kept on trying and trying and doing it. Cut a long story short, I ended up resigning. They said sorry, and then afterwards I was still blamed. And now the new, the, 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 the new management of Urban Brew have actually come forward and said, listen, this is not going to happen again. And so although that had happened, um, a lot of change is going to be happening within the industry. You know yeah. what, I think, I think we need to thank you. Mm. I think you're a trailblazer. I think the most uh, outspoken and honest ones, mm. the ones who are the tall poppies, are the ones who get shot down. So yeah. thank you for putting these things in place thank for, you. for us and for all of those who come after us. Rosie Medina, everybody, our guest on Trending SA on SABC3. Go out and get the book, <laughs> Reclaiming the Soil. That's it. We're back again tomorrow on SABC3. Bye-bye.